Hello everyone and welcome yourselves back to the channel, back for season two of Mighty Ducks, episode two today. If you haven't checked out my season one reviews we've been doing in the past few days, so go check them out. We reviewed the Mighty Ducks one review to celebrate the 35th anniversary, and of course season two episode one review aired last week. Spoilers ahead, I can't, I said that really weird, but you know, subscribe and like, and of course do let me know down below if you're enjoying the season so far. Let's dive into the video. So. I want to get this off my uh, off the bat. Alex is starting to go down that road of annoyance again. You know, look, I get it. Coach Cole is, you know, set some really high intensity levels in this episode. You know, the whole the wristbands and monitoring who's in the top, you know, twenty or thirty or whatever. Whatever. I love the concept. Like the top. Players will be selected to be in a tournament, and then that tournament they'll be put into teams, and then the best team will face off against Canada. I love that concept. I think that's brilliant. They've set a goal. They know what it is, and for me, they've not made it. They've made it obvious in a way um, of what they want. Evan has distanced himself, and he's gone down his old path of the Ducks. And I think the show needs to recognise they can't keep doing this every season. And if this is going to be the case, they're going to have a very poor formula. Because last season, he was a Duck. He, you know, he wanted to play hockey. The Don't Bobbers were created. And then he got sort of lured back into the Ducks. But simply because of how they treated Bombay, he went back to the Don't Bobbers. And then he had this attitude of it's not about winning. But now he's back at this camp, which he, is a lot harder than a lot of the Ducks have expected. Um, and he's sort of trying to force his ideology on them in a sense of, we, if we want to play hockey, this is how we got to do it. Sophie, who is one of the best hockey players in the show, she doesn't even want to be up for it because exactly like she said, they're going backwards. They're going back to the Ducks way of things. They created... The don't bother, they're now becoming the ducks to play how they want to, to enjoy somehow how they want to. Um, you know, it's hitting Nick the hardest. You're seeing um the five of them excluded from ever, you know, Coob, Sam, Maya, Nick, and Sophie are sticking together as a core. Four of them were looking out for Nick and trying to find him. You know, Evan's so focused on finishing that top 20. He wants to play for Canada. And ultimately, I think he's the most... He's so hypocritical on his character in a sense of because he's the one who was bringing the team together to fight for fun. And now his mother... I mean, his mum is annoying, right? He's, he's plain and simply put it out there what the concept of the um, Institute is. Uh, and it's not a camp. She spoke to the kids. The kids said they would stay. It's now up to her to talk to the kids and stop talking to the coach because if this is going to be a repetitive thing, I guess try to get into his head. I get at the end of the episode, um, something was put in place, but I don't have a clue really, really, really what it was. Um, coach knows, in a sense, what he's doing. Yes, he is doing things to a very intense level, but at the end of the day, he keeps saying it's for the best people who want to make it to the NFL. These kids, five of them at the minimum, do not want to play NFL. They just want to play hockey because it's what they enjoy, because what they love, and it's being with their friends. You can see Cole, in my opinion, the, the, the kid Cole, he will join this team and replace Evan, in my opinion. They'll look to a new leader. They'll look to a new friend. They'll look to someone who brings the better out of him and who isn't necessarily wanted to play hockey for the sake of it. And I think he'll be like Logan. He'll enjoy hockey, not being the best at it, but then because he's found this group of friends, he'll find enjoyment through it. And I think Evan will be on one of the opposing teams in the final few episodes. And I think maybe because of their teamwork, it could be these guys with maybe AJ there may be a couple of us who will represent against Canada. And maybe that would be a good twist that Evan's the one who's left out because through everything, they stuck together and stuck through it. And even not as a team, I think there's still, well, there'll, there'll still be a few other rivalries internal. Maybe some of them may even drop out. But I think ultimately they need to sort Alex and Evan's characters out because they're the two I don't enjoy watching. There's a good moment. It's like Alex slagging the coach off to her son. It's like, it's out of her nature. It's out of her DNA. Why is she talking to her kid off the cusp? 
Um, he's lucky he's got a good heart in, in a sense because he let her off. But it's so not her character to be snagging people off in on campus. If you're at a restaurant or you're talking to Bombay, for example, it makes sense. But not talking to a random kid who she didn't know who it was. Um, but and I don't understand why Evan is so against not being there for Nick. The last episode of season two, season one, he was like, "You're my best friend," blah blah blah. And it's like, where's all that gone? It's like. I'm sure Nick's fine. It's like, why aren't you helping? And you're there. For, it's been day one. It's day one, and you're already sacrificing being in the top twenty. Who gives a sugar? Um, I'd love in the direction though. Um, you know, I love the vibe of those five kids. I love how Cole doesn't really care at the moment about hockey because his dad's forced on it. But Coach Cole will bring the best out of a lot of these kids, and it's intriguing to see maybe if he gets the worst out of maybe AJ, for example, maybe AJ gets pushed away from Marky. Maybe he starts to learn a few lessons or something about making it a bit more fair and more equal. Um, And the final thing, I, I enjoyed all like the different lessons, you know, how they were doing like AI, not AI, um, VR, sorry, they are doing VR. <laughs> the food bits were hilarious. Like, um, Coob looking for Nick and then the, the coach, the chef coach <clears throat> was like, hey, I just cut it cooked up some avocado mousse and then Coop's like, why? <laughs> just, just like, why? <laughs> Who would make avocado mousse? It's just... <clears throat> That's so Coop, though. Coop doesn't do much in every scene, but when he does, he steals that scene. You know, it's the same for Nick. You know, where he was trying to impersonate uh, the person in the hotel to get a cookie. It's brilliant. The funny thing is, instead of sticking on that rod... <clears throat> He ran further away and ended up running further and ended up being higher on the um, the board. But um, I'm very excited. I just wish we got... I, for me, the very these episodes go by really quick. I just wish we got more. I wish we'd had like a two-episode opener and then it'd be one a week. So, you know, it, I mean, we'd still be over with the episodes by now, but I'm saying I just want more of this content because I'm so invested I, I mean, that's good because it makes you wait that week. But I really want to see what happens with this team. What happens with the Ducks? Will they survive this institute <clears throat> or camp? What will happen with Evan? What will happen with Cole? Will Alex step down a bit and just back off the coach? Will the coach change his ways? Will Nick stay? There's a lot to talk about, and I'm excited for the future, and I'm intrigued to see what you guys think about it as well. Let me know down below in the comments about Game Changers Season 2. Subscribe and like. Goodbye.